NFT art generator tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about the NFT art generator and how you basically use it. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to this website called nftgenerator.art. Now, once you're over here, as you can see, this is how the website will look like. Now, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's basically an application or a tool which lets you create hundreds and thousands of NFTs in just a matter of minutes. So basically what you'd have to do is you need to create different layers. Then what you need to do is add some aspect ratios to it and other like you know things and make sure that they're all in the same resolution and then that is basically it so i'm gonna go ahead and do it and before i do it it's very easy to use as you can see over here no coding required at all you can create your own layers import your assets and click generate and then you're basically done you can export your images gifts or videos as well layer rarity in a large collection you may not want to apply a layer on every nft you can configure a layer rarity so that it applied only a certain percentage of time as well so as you can see it's pretty simple it's really easy and then down below we have the pricing of it as well as you can see it's completely free and we can create up to a hundred generated assets for completely free and then we have a thousand generated assets for let's say 179 dollars 5000 for 279 and 10000 for 389 like it's pretty simple it's really easy it's not that expensive as well but we're going to stick to the free version for now so first things first just simply click on let's get started and over here as you can see i already have a couple of different layers ready so i'm going to go ahead and renew these settings so this is how it will basically look like and this is how you're going to use it so basically what you need to do is you need to add a layer we're going to call it background then we'll add another layer we'll call it you know glasses and then another layer we'll call it hair and then another layer called hats and there we go and then we can add other layers as we have more you know accessories so for now i'm just going to go with hats hairs glasses and then background so you have to make sure that all of them are the same resolution otherwise it won't work now in this video all of the assets that i'm using are of different you know resolutions because you know created them in photoshop and i forgot to export them in the same resolution so i'm gonna go over to this website called resize image net and i'm gonna simply gonna you know change their resolutions up a bit and then you know try to match them so that we can upload them so i'm gonna go ahead and upload them over here so this is it okay so which resolution is this so it's 58 4 by 792 pixels okay 58 4 by 792 58 4 by 7 i'm gonna try to keep and remember them so i'm gonna just gonna go ahead and you know reload the page and upload the other images glasses i'm gonna go ahead and upload this one over here so it's 792 actually 792 okay 548 792 i'm gonna click on resize Okay, so this one is it so we're going to download the image close it up okay go over here and just simply save it to the new folder there we go so this is the thing that i'm going to do over and over again for a little bit so i'll catch you guys in a little bit when it's completely done okay so i've done that took a little bit of time but now it's done so let me just go ahead and add my images over here so where's my background my background's over here simply gonna drag and drop it over here so it's done now i'm gonna go into the glasses and i'm just simply gonna drag and drop all of my glasses over here where did i put them here we go how much is it it's the same dimension 548x72 okay so expected as 584 but now i got 548 okay not what i was expecting but i think that we can still make it work so you have to make sure that you know your layers and you know the images that you are trying to enter are all in the same length so now that we have that let's go ahead and generate some nft so right now as you can see collection size is five i can't you know go less than five so i'm going to keep it at that you can change this number to let's say 100 or a thousand or whichever one you want depending upon the amount of layers and accessories you add then you can generate more images so currently i only have one background with three over here so it's gonna produce like three or four i don't know how it's gonna produce five but we'll see so we'll just click on generate you cannot generate five images because three out of five of course the number of item generators are just okay so let's go ahead and generate 
so as you can see this is now generated so as you can see since my resolution was a little bit off the eyes don't match perfectly but you can still see it so i click on preview this is the preview over here so this is how it's going to look like so keep that in mind if your you know resolution is messed up then you can't produce these images so if i click on generate collection all i have to do now is just simply click on the download button or if I want to, you know, support this tool, which is a very, very amazing tool. All I have to do is just simply enter in my email address and then just simply click on download. And then once I click on download, we can go ahead and save it. So let me just go ahead and do that. So if I click on download, now, as you can see, it's downloading as a zip file. I'm just simply going to save it out here. As you can see, it's downloaded. Now, if I go over here into my folder where I downloaded it, it's right over here. As you can see, we have the assets and metadata. So I'll just, you know, export it over here. And as you can see, this is the NFTs that were generated by me, by the tool. And this is the metadata of those NFTs, which is the JSON source file. So there you go. Like, it's pretty simple to use. It's really easy, you know. The software is very, very user friendly. I highly, highly recommend it. Now, if I wanted to add some hair, I could do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add some hair as well, which is different in size. So I have to make sure that they're in the same size as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So mind you that the hair are also in different resolutions, so it's going to look weird. I tried to fix it, but, you know, it was taking quite a long time. So I just gave up halfway. So let me just go ahead and implant this over here. So as you can see, the resolution is definitely off. So if I click on G preview right now, so this is how it's going to look like. like. As you can see, it looks pretty weird, but you get the general idea, right? The more layers we add, the higher chance we're going to get. So if I click on five, let's see, like, can I go higher? Click on generate. So as you can see, I can create like maybe nine. So if I come over here, maybe I click on 10. Can I create 10? Let's see. No, I can only create nine. Okay, so nine it is. So 0 0.9, if I click on generate, as you can see, nine images has just been created. Nine NFTs have just been created. Oh, now all I got to do is just simply enter in my email address and then just simply click on download. And then that is basically it. Same as processes before. It's really simple. It's really easy. Like it doesn't get any easier than this. The one thing that you have to just make sure is the resolution, like the dimensions, they have to be the exact same thing. Otherwise, your NFT is probably going to look like mine, like a mutation or something. It looks bad. So make sure that all of the resolutions are set. They're all, you know, in cohesive with each other and they all look perfect. So then and only then will they look good so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye